96.3 XKE, Fort Wayne's Classic Rock. You're listening to the Classic Rock Cafe with yours truly, Doc. And I have guest chefs, so to speak, joining me here this morning. The Mercy Beatles. Good morning. Morning. How are you doing? And also uh, Julia Baird here, John Lennon's sister. Julia, welcome back. Thank you. It's always a pleasure. Uh, you blew me away with your stories last time. Oh, thank you. And we're going to get some more out of you this time as well. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> all right. First of all, guys, uh, why don't you introduce yourselves? And, uh, uh, and, uh, I'm you're... Steve. I play Paul in the band. Um, I'm Mark. I play John. We have George. He's the quiet one. So he's oh. over there. He's gay. <laughs> <laughs> and Ring, Ringo's in the corner as well. Right. We are all here. Like. <laughs> all right. Well, go ahead and grab that mic. Get a little bit closer. Okay. Okay, there we go. All right. Uh, JJ just kind of popped his head there. Um, let me uh, go ahead and begin. All right. Now, there's still a few seats available, but you better right. get them quick. I'm, this yeah. is almost sold out. Well, you guys have a great store here. It's the Wooden Nickel Store. All three stores are selling the tickets. You can get them at themergybeatles.com. And there are still great seats left. So, uh, you know. Well, not many. Yeah. Well, fill me in. Uh, give people some background on the Mercy Beatles. Well, we formed in 99, 1999, three school friends and a cousin. Uh, so not, not manufactured, <laughs> you know, not put together in that way. Just friends who love the Beatles. And um, <clears throat> we started, like the Beatles started in some of the smaller clubs in Liverpool. We started to gain a reputation. Um, within a couple of years, the Cavern Club asked us to come and play there. And within a month or two of that, we were residents at the Cavern Club. And that was a residency that lasted over 10 years. And the Cavern Club's also been great for us because we found, uh, well, agents found us. Three agents from around the world, one in Asia, one in Europe, and now Mark Minnick in America. And America was always the big dream for the band, and here we are. Which is exactly how the Beatles were discovered in the yes, Cavern, they're weren't all they? Yeah. It's the same, you're following in that yeah. same. And you, um, growing up in Liverpool, what's your first memory of, um, of the Beatles, actually? What do you, what have you got one? No. no My, I mean, mine is, unfortunately, yeah, I was when, thinking when that. John was uh, you know, killed and it was a... It was. Uh, I was eight years old, and like everybody knows where they were when Kennedy was assassinated, when everybody right. knows where they were when John left us, and it was just uh, they played Help on TV that night or the night after. I, d I wasn't aware much of them. I was only eight, and I was obsessed from that moment on. I was like, wow, these guys were from the same city as me. I'm so proud, you know, and so it's like uh, that was my first memory of them, but the... Liverpool at the time was kind of leaving them behind a little bit, you know, and so I, maybe two years after that they put a, a museum in a, in a building and we went to the museum, we watched all their films all day, saw all the kind of... Wow. Yeah, people got together and it was the sort of early incarnation of the Beatles Festival, mm -hmm. now the, the Matthew Street Festival or Beatle Week as we call it. Um, just people getting together to watch their films and talk about the Beatles and then it became official mm. with Cavern City Tours you know an official get together every year which has now grown into something incredible just like you, you have to experience it you know? Is it w well it started out as a day and it's become a week yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. and you actually uh, showed film from that at uh, your last show at the embassy, we did. Yes, um, sort of slightly amended now. We're doing that; they're doing different things. But yes, a bit of a documentary, strangely enough, but features the Mersey Beatles. It's just it's just completely uncanny, and they'd asked me to uh, narrate it. It's two Americans. It's Phil, not Philip Schofield. What's his name? Uh, John, Schofield. John Schofield. John Schofield and. Oh, I can't remember the other guy's name. Do you, uh, I was <laughs> saying well, we it all the time, but I haven't, so, uh, haven't mentioned it this time. It's two Americans anyway mm -hmm. that came over, a producer and a director, and were so um, enraptured by Beetle Week. They thought they've just got to record this. Yeah. They've just mm -hmm. got to get it on celluloid, if you like. And um, I was asked, would I be the narrator? And most of the band stuff is actually Steve talking. Uh, and they're playing so people get a real feel of Beatle Week we had no idea at that time when no. it was made about six years ago now that we'd be showing it in America right. it's, it's, 
uh, twist of fate. It just well. so happened we were in transition when they made the film. The band was in transition from a band that played pubs and clubs who were going on to theatrical, mm -hmm. more theatrical uh, events. And uh, they just captured us right at that moment when we were leaping up to the next level, you know, and uh, it's just fortuitous for us, you know. The, the interviews come across perfect. God, yeah. so this all, for you, all began the day John Lennon died. Yes, for me Is personally, yeah. I was aware wow. of the Beatles a bit earlier because my cousin, who was a couple of years older than me, was yeah. a Beatles fan, but not not properly because, again, like, like Stephen's saying, he was eight, I was nine, so right. it wasn't really something that was at the forefront of you. Right. All right, so this show is your 40th and final for the year, as I understand. That's correct, yeah. We're not coming back now till February. <laughs> We've got tours in Europe to do and, and all of that, so this is going to be our last show in America. And as you say, the 40th, so bit of a landmark for us. Now, um, you need to play Mexico as well someday. Yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah I believe it's wild down there. Uh, the, the Mexicans, uh, they love rock and roll. That's great. And, and <laughs> apparently, the, is it the vice president of Mexico is a huge Beatles fan. Oh, really? Does oh, he keep asking me to go? Yeah. To oh, him. really? Tell our manager, Mark yeah. Minnick, about that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He really is really a huge Beatles there. fan. Yeah, Mexico before they build the wall, guys. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. yeah, let's get down. There. <laughs> All right. The damage we can take. We've got ladders. No. <laughs> <laughs>